Proton pump inhibitors are a kind of drug that's used for treating peptic ulcer disease, stomach ulcers and the like, and they work by inhibiting acid production. We all produce acid in our stomachs, both to, as an aid to digestion, but also to kill bacteria in the stomach. And the stomach lining is specially designed to resist this chemical acid attack. However, certain things such as smoking, certain things in the diet, and in particular infection with a bacterium called Helicobacter pylori can interfere with the continual regeneration of the stomach lining and uh, over time can lead to damage of the lining of the stomach and an ulcer forming. And as you can imagine, if you've got healing of tissue in a situation where you've got it continually bathed in strong acid is both slow and can be very difficult. And therefore one of the ways that we intervene in people who've got peptic ulcer disease is by giving them drugs that interfere with the production of acid. The first drugs that were available to do this um, blocked chemical messenger molecule called histamine, and those are the H2 antagonists as they're called, drugs like Zantac and Cimetidine. But these are only partially effective. The proton pump inhibitors were the next generation of drugs and are dramatically effective because they block the final pathway of the production uh, of acid and that's the pumping of protons by protein pumps on the inside of the, the stomach lining. The way that these drugs work is actually quite unusual in that they permanently inactivate those protein pumps. The only way that you can start producing acid again is by regenerating those protein pumps. This kind of mechanism is potentially hazardous if your target is also expressed somewhere else in the body where it might have some vital function because having given the drug you may have a long period before that function can be uh, restored. In this case, however, the protein pumps are uniquely found in the stomach and therefore these drugs are associated with good efficacy and a very good safety profile. When they were first made available, they were only available on pre prescription for the treatment of peptic ulcer disease. As our understanding and knowledge of the drugs has increased and we've seen that they are associated with a good safety profile, we have seen uh, them now be available over the counter for non-serious conditions such as dyspepsia. This is not uncommon that drugs that we start off in the prescription only field end up being also available um, over the counter. However, it is important to remember that you shouldn't use uh, over the counter drugs for the treatment of serious conditions. That is because the therapeutic effect of any drug is a combination of the effect of the drug, its pharmacology, the dose that we give, the magnitude of the effect, and also how we give it and how often we give it. And it is the combination of all those three things that determines the therapeutic effect. And each of those is are different and therefore you should uh, use the drugs as they are described on the packet and not use drugs that are available over the counter for the treatment of serious conditions.